Hey guys, it's Kids Point Time here, and today I am back with a new video. So, today we're doing some nice stuff. We are going to be reading a story called The Girl and the Cloud. So, The Girl and the Cloud. It is, it shows a picture of the girl and the cloud, and some people watching the cloud. And then there's a, a little place here, and let's see. So let's see what finds out. Last Christmas, Anna's dad gave her the perfect surprise, her very own snow cloud. It puffed and blowed and fluffed and swirled and snowed whenever she wanted. Anna thought it was the best present she'd ever received. Anna's school friends all loved her snow cloud too. Even our teacher had to agree that it was fun. All winter long, Anna's snow cloud followed her, snowing whenever she went. They were the best of friends. And though the little cloud snowed and snowed, it stayed big and fluffy and puffed like a pillow. But once spring arrived and the weather got warmer, Anna's snow cloud started to act strangely. It didn't like to come out and play anymore, especially when the sun was shining. When summer came, Anna's snow cloud began to get smaller. It didn't blow and fluff like it used to. The snow cloud snow turned to rain. To Anna, it seemed that her cloud was sad. Anna spent ages trying to think of a way to, to make her friend feel better. If you like the cold, she said, maybe you like would like to stay in the fridge. So into the fridge the little cloud went. Anna visited her little snow cloud every morning and every night. It's not much fun, Anna thought, having a snow cloud that can't sh sh snow anymore. Summer turned to autumn, and while Anna was happy to go back to school, her snow cloud still seemed sad. Anna knew in her heart that something wasn't right. At school, Anna told her teacher how worried she was. I have a book about clouds, said teacher. Maybe there's something in it that will help. Anna read every page of the book. She learned all about clouds and how they react to the weather. Anna started to think of a plan. Christmas time came again. Dad asked Anna what present she'd like this year, and Anna knew the answer right away. I'd like for my little snow cloud to go home, she said, so it can be happy again. Dad thought it was a lovely thing to ask her, but it wouldn't be so easy to do. The next day, they, packaged, they packed the snow... They packed the snow cloud into a special box to keep it cool and set off into a big adventure. They got on a big boat and sailed the sea and drove north until they could drive no further. And then Anna and her mum and dad climbed to the very top of the world. At last! There, above the highest mountain, they found the, the place where the cloud came from. Anna's little snow cloud was home. 
Anna took the box and placed it in the snow. Then, with a deep breath, she opened it and set her snow cloud free. Whoosh! The little cloud puffed and fluffed and swirled and blowed and soared into the air above them. Anna had never seen the cloud look so happy at the night sky shone with the northern lights. The little cloud began to spin and sparkle and sprinkle with, the, with snowflakes. Anna and her mom and dad laughed and cheered. Finally, it was time for Anna to go home. Goodbye, little snow cloud, she said. Thanks for all the snow. The little cloud whisked and tumbled, sprinkling Anna with snowflakes. As the final flurry of snowflakes fell, the little cloud flew up to join the other clouds. Although she'd missed her friend, Anna felt very good indeed. It was a Christmas she would never forget. Because sometimes the perfect surprise isn't the one you get. It's the one you give. That was the story. And it only about took six minutes to read. So it's called The Girl and the Cloud. So comment down below. Only nice things. Comment down below. What? What do you think the cloud, what kind of cloud it was? A rainy cloud, a sunny cloud, a snowy cloud, or uh, an ice cloud, or any kind of, like, a sunny cloud, a snowy cloud, a rainy cloud, an icy cloud. What, uh, all the four of them, which do you think it might be? A, wait, A, sunny cloud, B, sn snowy cloud, C, icy cloud, and, and, what, okay, okay guys, um, I'm getting mixed up sometimes to get mixed up. So, A, sunny cloud, B, rainy cloud, C, icy cloud, and I don't really remember what I said. So, sunny cloud, rainy cloud, icy cloud, and snowy cloud. So, A, B, C, or D. Pick which one. Um, did did the cloud was the cloud happy at the end or happy at was no was the cloud happy at the start or the end and was the cloud sad at the at the start or the end. So, if the cloud is happy at the at start or at the end, or if the cloud was sad at the start or the end. So, comment down below. It so. Did the cloud play with Anna? At the start or at the end? Um, like, did, did the snow cloud play with... I said the answer, snow cloud. So guys, you don't need to do the first one. It's the snow cloud. So yeah. Probably these questions, you will forget them really easily. So, unless you write them down in my paper, then you might know them again. So. <coughs> I'm 
my throat feels really dusty when I speak. So, yeah, this story was really interesting to read for me. The Girl and the Cloud. And next time we will have more stories to read. And this one took about only six minutes to read. That was okay. So, yeah, guys. Comment down below what do you think uh, out of all of these. Was the cloud happy at, at the start or the end? And if the cloud was sad at the start or the end? Um, did, did the cloud play with Anna at the start? So you just have to pick, like, did the cloud play with Anna at the start? Yes or no? Did... Was the was the cloud wait was the cloud happy at the start or the end? So like you it, if you thought like start you just write start in the comments, and if you thought it was the end just write end, and then just the same was the cloud sad at the at the start or the end start or end whatever you pick. So guys, so this was actually her school friends, and this was a snow cloud, and that was Anna, and this was the school. So, and again, it's called The Girl and the Cloud. So it's obviously a snow cloud. So guys, comment down below if you liked how many stars you give it. Out of all the stars, like, there's... 10 stars in the book. 10 stars. So you have to rate it like like 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10 or like 7 out of 10 or something. Whatever you pick, you can rate it down below. So guys, see you next in my next video. Bye! Peace!